Hey there, Mr. Thayer from the Syracuse Academy of Science and Citizenship back with another math lesson, grade three math lesson. Today we're going to look at module two, lesson seven, and I'll throw the objectives up here. And again, it's a lot of words here. We're talking about estimation strategies and kilograms and, you know, familiar objects, this and that. I'm going to break this objective down and simplify it right now. Yesterday, we, you know, we started our journey. We were talking about grams to kilograms and labeling items. And we kind of started to look at a scale and do, do a little bit of measurements and this and that. So today, I really want to just talk about the scale itself, understanding um, how to measure things. And then using weights, we can make predictions on items. And we can also kind of estimate what things are going to be just by, you know, measuring a couple things and doing a couple things, okay? So this lesson sets up a lot better, um, like I said, if we were in class, all right? If I want to kind of kind of take you through, like, if you were in class with me, what we would have is we would have a bunch of spring scales for us to work with. And I'm going to show you a picture of a spring scale. Actually, I'll show it right now. Here's a picture of a spring scale right now, Okay. And spring scales can come in many different shapes and sizes. Um, the, sp the spring scale that I've been teaching with, it's kind of like a square shape with it. And you can kind of push it down and that spring is going to push back. All right. And we are able to put items on that spring scale and measure um, things in the classroom. So I would have a bunch of spring scales in the classroom. And, you know, you probably partner up or we kind of rotate you guys through but what i would have you guys do is kind of think about items like maybe take this marker for example and i would have you guys predict how much is this marker gonna weigh all right and then maybe you jot down an answer in grams maybe you put it in kilograms we're not sure but you estimate or predict what this marker is gonna weigh and then you toss it up onto the scale and you get yourself a reading okay and I would have a lot of different things for us to do, a lot of different sizes of items, so we could also see what is light, what is heavy, and kind of compare it to. What this is going to do is it's going to give you a frame of reference uh, when you're putting things together. All right? You could understand that maybe this weighs 10 grams. All right? So in your head, you could say, oh, this weighs 10 grams. If I had 100 of these, that would give me a thousand grams or one kilogram. All right. You can kind of start getting a frame of reference um, for things. You could understand that this mug full of pens, just by looking at this, you could say, if I put this mug full of pens on a spring scale, this is going to, you know, this is going to be a lot of grams or kilograms as opposed to my marker here. Okay. So you're just kind of using your mind and you're thinking to make predictions and predictions and estimations. And that's what you know the goal of this this lesson is, is just to kind of introduce you especially to the spring scale right here. So here's a spring scale like I said and the misconceptions and the issues that we have deal right here with the face of it and what is being what is being uh, weighed, okay? In this case you're going to see right here, on a spring scale, you're going to see the labels here. I have kg labeled here. So obviously, I am my scale is measuring kilograms, okay? Probably going to put a lot of heavier stuff on this, but I am measuring kilograms, okay? And when you are dealing with a, a spring scale, you must look right here on that spring scale to understand what you have. This could have a G there or a kg, it could have a bunch of different things. So you have to look first at what is up there. So that's my spring scale. I could drop my item on there and I could weigh it. It's got an arrow here, it's gonna point. This one just happens to be pointing at four. So I must have had a four on there. All right, and what happens is when you pull that weight, when you pull whatever off, it goes back to zero. All right, back to zero, you put an item on there and that is what is going to measure with a spring scale. Okay, so just today, like I said, you know, we're at home. Maybe you have a scale. Maybe maybe mom or dad has a spring scale. Maybe sometimes um, people like to weigh their food on a spring scale. Maybe you can try that out. Uh, but the 
the biggest key, the misconception, make sure when, you, when you're when you measuring on a spring scale, you understand what your measurement is. If it's grams or kilograms or something like that, look at the face of the scale. I'm going to put a lot, I think I'm going to put a lot of scales on our exit ticket and a couple of different examples of what spring scales can look like for you guys to look at and understand and do some readings. So it'll be a quick exit ticket today. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good day.